making, whoa, hello, I'm making my first cabinet for the router. That's so that these shells are actually going to be on an angle so that I can, you know, grab the bit, just grab them. extra ones of these and then my bit here I'll show ya my bit's gonna lay inside that thing and then I can just grab them or do whatever but anyway I got holes I got all kinds of little just a tool holder basically is what it's gonna be but there is reading G code it is taking names really quick now. Look at that. I love it. It's just going to town. It's making these little holes. Isn't that great? I love it. Go over there. I got two of these shells. Real how quick this thing is. They don't waste no time. But I've been working, hey, 24 hours a day programming all my different style of cabinets and, you know, everything that I, how I make it. Uh, whew, lots of homework. Mamma mia. Tons of numbers. Just, ah, uh, it was overwhelming. I was like, this can't be legit. But it is. But hey, it'll always remember it. I'll never have to enter those numbers again unless I want to modify how I build things. This little dude just happens to be a custom shelf. It's going to sit up there like so, and I'll be able to put my collets, my bits, you know, in order to where I know what's going on, I have different libraries, one for cutting MDF doors, for cutting cabinet doors, for commercial, residential. We have different bits so I can line up my bits just right and number them because it has to be pretty accurate. See those little dudes that have numbers on them. Those are all the different bits. There's eight. There's eight bits per per job per se. Or you can have three bits, you know. But if I have a job, I can lay my bits nice and pretty right there and call it number bit number four, number three, or whatever. And then if I have the, uh, the big bits I can just stick them inside that hole or if I have the whole head I can put it in there and then I got my collets for up here just a little bit of organization you know I figured the machine deserved it if it's, if it's, if it's fixing to work it's butt off we got a lot of work to do holy cow hotels, motels, schools doctor's offices you know it don't matter to me now, for sure. But here's my little toy. And this is why I quit my well rig, because, well, I didn't quit it, but, you know, I gotta make a living, man. And nobody can do this but me, as far as this is concerned at this point. Or, well, I'm not gonna say nobody else can do it, but I sure as heck wanna know what's going on before I let somebody else operate it. things are cutting out right. I have tested and tested and tested. There's one test. There's another test. I have a bunch more testing. Testing. I mean, testing. 
testing. Just one test after another to make sure I knew. Look, it even. You see that? That's because my vacuum pump was not holding the wood down. Now it's changing blades. Yeah, just changed blades. I can't remember for what. Um, oh, that's a three eighths. What's it gonna do? I can't even remember. Oh, it's cutting out the side, the part. Isn't that great? That's a small part, so it only cut it down. Bare, I mean, it left about a sixteenth. The big parts is going to cut it completely. In fact, I want to slow it down. Uh, no, I don't. Oh, it's cutting that piece twice. That's right. Uh, I wrote that code, what, two, three days ago, you know? Now it's going to come down again. And it's going to cut all these parts out. The waste factor is the width of the bit. You don't waste no time. There's one door. I even drilled the holes for the pull. Isn't that great? That sucker is all in but I do want to slow it down. That's too fast. I can slow it down right here. I can control it. Now I slowed it down just a little bit. There's my shell. actually and then a top shelf. Ultimately what we're cutting right now is that. Every bit of that right there is over there. Huh? Isn't that cool? I love it. That's what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. That is just incredible. They're just going to town, man. They don't care what's going on. Get out of the way, it says. Now it's going to go back over there and cut that small piece, I believe, I think. Yeah. No, it's actually going to cut the sheet to size. Look at that. There's your waste factor. One piece, the other piece. There it goes. Basically what it's doing is it's cutting the, the waste off. You to see how much waste factor there is. Hurry up. Now it's going to go home. Says, okay, I'm done. There's your waste factor, man. Look at here. You see that? That and a little bitty piece inside right there. But the rest of this, that's called optimizing. It optimized the material to where there's no waste factor. I love it. That's it for now.